Good morning and welcome to the solution videos to the 2022 Meta Hacker Cup. I'm Second Thread and today we're going to start off with the problem A, second hands. Uh, in this problem, Sandy has a store where she sells used watch parts. And in addition to selling second hands, second hands, maybe she sells some watch faces and some dial knobs and a bunch of other different parts as well. She has two display cases and she needs to organize all of her parts into the two display cases but she has some restrictions on how she wants to do that. First, she doesn't want any display case to have two of the same part. She thinks that would look boring. Also, each display case can only hold at most K items. So in this case, K equals three. So you can't put all five items in one display case. Here, obviously, you can't put all five of these items in the same display case because, well, you have two items of type one. So one possible solution to this is we could put one of these ones here. We could put the other one here. Uh, we could put the two here, and then we could put the two threes here and here. And that satisfies all of Sandy's requirements. So you might ask, when is it possible and when is it not? And in fact, that's exactly what you need to know to solve the problem. So the first observation is, if you ever have three of one clock piece, it's going to be impossible. You only have two cases, and by the pigeonhole principle, if you put three things into two spaces, you're going to have at least one space with two of the same things. Uh, the other time it might be impossible, in addition to having three of one piece, is if you have more than two times k items in total. In that case, you have n items, and you have to put them in less than n over two spaces. Right? You have, you have less than n over two spaces per, per slot, uh, which means you're going to run out. You don't have n spaces in total. So both of those observations require using the pigeonhole principle in order to show that you have enough room to put all of your things, um, or that you wouldn't have enough room if, if those aren't met. But also, uh, it turns out if those are satisfied, you can always solve the problem. We can come up with a constructive algorithm to do so, or we can just guess that that's the case and get it right. Uh, one observation is that only leaves types of uh, items where you have one of them or two of them. right? For the items you have two of, you can imagine subtracting the number of spaces in the two cases by one. And then lastly, you're left with a bunch of items that have just one of each. Well, we can just fill up the remaining spaces. We know there will be enough because we know two times k is at least n. So here's what the code looks like if you want to implement that. And uh, of course, there are solutions in other languages as well. You can use whatever language you're most comfortable with. Um, yeah, and that's the idea. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you in round one. Goodbye.